Hello trainers, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go Battle. Today we have Charizard for you guys, Charizard as a lead. Now, I've been using Charizard as my lead for many cases because it has been an answer for many of the Pokemon against Cresselia counters. In many cases, you would see sometimes an Escavalier lead, a Articuno lead, or even a Caesar lead. So Charizard has been pretty cool for that answer. And in many cases, too, Charizard can hold up to any other Pokemon that not may be an actual counter for Cresselia, but also maybe um, as a good lineup for other Pokemon. So in some cases, Charizard has been up against a Poliwrath, a Garatina, an Articuno. So we'll see some of those matches today as that lead. So just before I jump into that, we're going into PV Poke just to show you guys that Charizard is at X not actually ranked in the very very high end here he is ranked number 40 which is not too bad actually and in most cases you would see people use charizard with dragon claw and blast burn as its two main moves and then as its fast attack typically it's fire spin but wing attack can be its other option but you're gonna have to have either elite tm for that or possibly an older charizard that has a wing attack so without a doubt the charizard that i'm using today is not the best of the best ivs but without a doubt it's still holding up pretty pretty well so i'm just gonna quickly jump into GhostStadium.club. If you don't know what this is, it has a PvP IV analysis that you guys can type in um, your Pokemon. So in this case, I have Charizard, Ultra League, I trade it with an Ultra Friend. Tag is 12, 14, 14. And as you can see, it is ranked 415. Not too far off with rank number one. So PvP IVs is not too bad. It does pretty good with cmp ties with charizard and other pokemon as well too so without a doubt let's just jump right into it so battle number one we're pretty much utilizing the same team as i have used from the last episode and we have swamper and chrysalia in the back so we have polyrath as the lead here so as, as far as I'm not mistaken, PV Pokes usually says that Charizard doesn't win this match. Polyrath just wins by a couple HP more. But in many cases, I kind of play out this match a little bit where I throw the Blast Burn to see if the other trainer is either going to shield or not. And in some cases, if they don't shield, I would either stay in for another Dragon Claw or I would switch into Cresselia like I did in this case so I can see what other Pokemon they have as a counter. So it gives me an idea what I can use as far as Swampert and Cresselia in the back. So Empoleon has been an interesting Pokemon. It has been like the cheap steel um, resource in terms of water slash steel and it's been pretty good counter against Cresselia. It holds up pretty well with the moon blasts, as you can see here, and it's usually waterfall with hydro can in combination. It does pretty good with the terms of a damage dealt with another Pokemon. Cresselia gets hit pretty well, and also like other Pokemon like Swampert. So as you can see, they switched into their Cresselia here, and I'm just gonna let go another moon blast before I switch out to another Pokemon because I don't want to stick into this mirror match. As you guys may or may not know, Cresselia mirror matches are not fun and they are dragged out too far. So they snuck in a moon blast here. We get the attack debuff and without a doubt, we're just going to continue chipping away damage here with Hydro Cannon just to see what we can do with this Cresselia. So here we go with another Hydro Cannon. And my idea is to get this Cresselia as low as possible so I can switch in either to a Charizard or a Cresselia depending on what I'm going to do. I do want to maintain health with this Swampert so I do utilize this shield again and going to let go another Hydro Cannon but I believe I saw the switch animation and they switch back into their Empoleon. So they actually use their shield here which is awesome. And as you can see this is becoming a switch off game with Pokemon. So I switch into Cresselia because I know it can handle that Hydro Cannon, but this was a Flash Cannon. And I let go another Moon Blast. So this is going to knock out Empoleon and they're going to bring back in their Cresselia. So I was hoping I could get this Moon Blast off and thank God I did. And I only have like probably one HP left, but this even knocks out Cresselia. And we have Polyrath left. 
So between the two, I just thrown in Swamper again because I'm not recalling how much energy Poliwath, Poliwrath has. So there we go. Dynamic Punch goes and we let go another Hydro Cannon. And then I'm going to have Charizard finish this off with Poliwrath. Charizard has a lot of health. Dynamic Punch, Ice Punch is not going to do anything against Charizard here. It's going to need another charge attack in order for Charizard to go out. So Dragon Call here is going to finish it off and GG's for us. So moving on to the next battle, going to continue with Charizard as the lead. Like I said, Charizard does pretty good having Blast Burn as its charge attack. Just so as a reminder, it is a legacy move. So if you don't have it, you may have to use an Elite Charge TM or trade with someone to get that Blast Burn Charizard. So we have Melmetal in the lead here. This is a little bit of a tricky matchup because both Pokemon are weak against each other's charge attack. As you can see, it's Rock Slide. So I'm going to let go a Blast Burn and they're going to utilize a shield here. So because Charizard doesn't charge up its energy faster than Melmetal, I switched into Swampert before they let go of their Rock Slide just so Swampert can take that hit. And they switch into their Gyarados. So usually Swampert and Gyarados are not a good matchup for the Swampert. So what I'm going to do here because we're locked in, I'm going to keep on moving with Hydro Cannons. So Hydro Cannons are still pretty good against Gyarados. I believe you need three Hydro Cannons to finish it off. So just to maintain that health a little bit more, I added a shield with Swampert. And I'm going to try to sneak in another Hydro Cannon, which I do. And I thought it was going to knock out Gyarados, but they do use a shield here because they want to maintain that switch advantage. So I switched back into Charizard and I was going with Dragon Claw here, but they got into another crunch and we're going to sneak off now our Dragon Claw. But sadly enough, I don't know why we couldn't register our charge attack. So we just swapped into Cresselia. So this is not looking good for us and even make it worse. We got a Reggie Steel. So Cresselia does not do well at all with Reggie Steel. So this game is pretty much over. I'm just playing it out now. Um, again, nothing we can do. We have no shields. These moon blasts are not going to be super effective or even neutral against Reggie Steel. We're not even giving those attack debuffs. So GG's there with that trainer. So if we probably had Charizard in there still, we maybe would have a, a, an advantage. They wouldn't necessarily jump into the Reggie Steel, but we would probably at least knock out one or two of their Pokemon and maybe would have had a fighting chance with Chris Lee at the end there. So, but nonetheless, that's just how the game rolls. Moving on to our next battle. I think this is the part with this one here where we get a matchup error. I don't like these kind of messages, but yep, we do get it. And we're just going to jump right into our next battle. So yes, Charizard has been pretty good. In many cases, I would just go straight Blast Burn um, just in case if they don't shield. But sometimes I do like to play around with the shield baits and try to go with the Dragon Claw. But in this case here with Togekiss, we had these matches the other way around where we had our Togekiss as a lead. So as we know, if we let go of that Blast Burn and they don't shield, that Togekiss is gone. So they shield here and I know they have an Ancient Power, so I'm going to go ahead and shield. But sadly enough, they got the boost. And this is not looking good for us. Togekiss with the boost does really, really well. And they're going to definitely protect Togekiss as much as they can. So here we go. We're going to switch into our Swampert. At least we have one extra shield here. But look already how much damage Swampert is getting. Even with this Ancient Power, it's just still going to knock us really, really bad. So I'm going to sneak in another Hydro Cannon here. And I don't think it knocks it out because of the boost. Yep. It... it if it didn't have the boost, it would have knocked it out for sure. But two Pokemon are down. Cresselia is left. Still chipped away some nice damage right there. And they have Mewtwo here. So I was kind of hesitant because I know based on um, talking with my friends, a lot of people do love having Shadow Ball and Psy Strike Mewtwo. So just to respect the moveset, I'm going to shield here. But it was a Psy Strike. 
So it's not looking too good for us. We're going to try to sneak in another Moonblast, but usually Mewtwo sneaks in another attack before the Moonblast. And it was another Psy Strike. So here we go, sneaking in a Moonblast. We're going to knock out Mewtwo here, and we're going to see what is the last Pokemon they're going to have. And it's a Charizard itself. So without a doubt, I think I just went with Future Sight here. Even if I went with Moonblast, it's not going to be super effective, but I don't think if Charizard did get the attack debuff, it will still knock us out. But without a doubt, I don't think it was a fighting chance for us, but GG's there with that opponent. That was pretty good there. So moving on to our next battle. We have Charizard versus Charizard. Now, this is mirror matches that I typically say I like to stay away with. But because our Charizard has the higher attack, we do win that CMP tie. So here we go, going with Dragon Claw to see if they're going to go with a Bait Shield, and they do. But funny enough, I didn't know that they actually had it, so I let go on my shield here. And I was like, oh, okay, they did use the shield, so I'm going to go up with another Dragon Claw. So I went with the shield here, and they switch into a Swamper, which was smart on their part. So I went away with a Dragon Claw and chipped a little bit of damage just, just so I can then maintain that mirror match. I switch into my Swampert and I'm going to utilize my shield here and I'm going to charge up to a Earthquake just to go with a Hydro Cannon Bait Shield. So they let go of their Hydro Cannon and I'm charging up a little bit more energy and then letting go Hydro Cannon here in hopes that they would shield and they do and then i have just enough energy again to let go a earthquake just so i can knock out swampert so at least one of those mirror matches we are in the lead which is great they're going to switch into Zangoose, goose which is something that i don't typically see it was probably my first time actually seeing the Zangoose goose in a ultra league battle but it does have night slash which is good against cresselia so what i did here i switch into charizard to see what I can do as far as soaking up that damage and then they switch into their Charizard and I don't have enough energy just for that Dragon Claw. So I want to switch into Swamper but I know Charizard already has a couple fire spins charged up there and they're ready for a Blast Burn as you can see it was only two more fast attacks and they're ready to let go Blast Burn. So I came in with Cresselia and I'm going to go with a Future Sight knowing that with this health remaining left with Charizard it's going to knock it out. And as we know, it does. And Zangoose comes back in. And I don't think this nice slash is going to knock us out, even though it's super effective. And yep, just as we know. And we let go another Moonblast. And we won this match. GG's. So double mirror matches. I was almost going to expect a Cresselia at the end there. But we got a Zangoose. Would have been very, very interesting if we had the exact same Pokemon and how that match would actually played out. But... Without a doubt, moving on to our next battle, we got Jimmy D. These names are very interesting, <laughs> but we have a Blastoise as a lead here, so this is not good for us. Uh, so what I typically do is I usually charge up until I know the Hydro Cannon is going to come and then I'm going to switch. But for some reason, I don't think the switch was working, so I just went ahead and went with a Fire Spin. So even though they, um, it's not super effective, it did a good amount of damage dealt to Blast Blastoise. So we switched into our Swamper, and here we are going to go into a Hydro Cannon, but they switch into a Cobalion, which is actually pretty spicy as a pick. But Cobalion does have a Fighting and Steel moveset, which is good sometimes against the Reggie Steels or any other dark Pokemon. So they did shield the first time I was anticipating just going with hydro cannons, but once they shield, I'm like, oh, okay, because it's steel and fighting, it's going to be weak against ground. So I went with earth earthquake and knocked it out. So they jumped into their charmer here, Clefable, and I went with a quick hydro cannon before I switched into Charizard. So I wanted to bait that last shield and I went with dragon claw and in hopes that they're going to do it. Let's see. Let's see and they don't which is very surprising so i have two shields left i'm definitely going to use it because i want charizard to survive i know blast burn can deal a lot of damage like in this case here with blastoise as you can see first time it dealt pretty much half damage and it did utilize its actual shield here which is great so charizard goes down i'm going to switch into cresselia 
going to go for a moon blast to fin finish off Blastoise. Going to maintain that last shield just to maintain that health. And going to then go with another moon blast just as this hydro can passes by. So moon blast goes off here. It's going to finish off Blastoise. And then we're only going to need a little bit more energy to finish off Clefable. So we got this match in the bag. GG's there. So Cresselia does pretty good at the end game sometimes, depending on the Pokemon that they have. Usually Cresselia can hold up pretty well even without shields, but here we go, next battle. Seeing what Charizard's gonna be up with, and we have a Giratina. So in this matchup, Charizard does not win this match. So what I typically do is let go the first Dragon Claw just so we can get that damage dealt to Garatina, just so then we can switch on to the next Pokemon. Typically, people don't shield with Charizard in their Dragon Claws. So luckily enough, we switch just fast enough so Cresselia can take up that ancient power. So then they switch into their own Swampert, which is not too bad for us because now we're ahead of energy with Cresselia, letting go of that Moon Blast, getting the attack debuffed, and getting the shield, which is awesome. So they're going to go off with the Hydro Cannon. We're going to try to maintain our shields here, and we're going to go off with another Moon Blast, but usually Swampert charges up those two Hydro Cannons really, really quick. If I recall, I think Swampert needs four Hydro Cannons to knock out Cresselia, and that's without an attack debuff. So knowing here, I think we have five. And um, yep, they got off another shield, which is great for us. Now, some people would question this switch here with Charizard. Typically, I like to um, go off with the Blast Burn and then just let go Charizard here. But they actually switch into their Giratina, so I guess they want to really switch and save that Swampert. So Letting off that Blast Burn and then letting off this Dragon Call is going to do just enough damage to knock out this Garatina, which is great. And then they switch into their Clefable, which is awesome because we want to get rid of it rather quickly. So here we are going to go with the Blast Burn here just to see if we can get that damage. And we do look how much damage is gone with Clefable here. So just charging up that energy and now we have enough again for the Swampert. And it's not going to knock it out. It's going to be back into the red. But this is something what we wanted to do so our own Swamper could come in and just finish off the match. Now, I think this Hydro Cannon is just going to go through. It's going to do half damage. But I think they already surrendered at this point, knowing that they can't do anything with a Swamper and a Cresselia. So GG's there for us. So heading into our next battle, we're doing pretty good so far. With this team alone, I think I got pretty well as far as maintaining like four and one, three and two. Um, not too bad. Sometimes we have those hiccups during the battle where we lose out like we saw earlier in one of those matches. But as you can see, they had Caesar as the lead here. It's really, really good for us. We're going to let go a Dragon Claw here just for this Garatina. And then we're going to, I guess, stick it out for another Dragon Claw. So here we go, we're going to switch into Cresselia in hopes that we caught another Dragon Claw. And we do, which is great because it's not effective. And here we are jumping into another Moon Blast in hopes that we can get a shield. Now sometimes, like I mentioned earlier, Garatina can be a Pokemon sacrificial um, Pokemon where they won't really <laughs> use any shields but sometimes when they had those matchups with Cresselia they do end up using a shield it doesn't make really any sense but here we go they switch into their Caesar again to catch off that Cresselia in hopes that they will actually um, knock us out but we do maintain um, energy here I do want to keep a shield sadly I want to switch into another Pokemon so I have all the energy built up for Cresselia but we didn't manage to switch out in time when we had to use that last shield so that wasn't really good for us I switch into Charizard just to sneak off these fast attacks to knock out Caesar, and we were almost there. Night Slash is going to go through and we actually don't KO which is surprising so we knocked out Caesar. we are letting go this final Dragon Claw for this Garatina. We are 
down to a shift tree. Now, I know I did not play this out right, but I think the timer was not um, up for us to switch into Cresselia, so I was stuck with a Swampert there. So I was waiting for the charge move, and I jumped into Cresselia for the sacrificial swap. But again, I don't think that was the best move. Maybe I should have just stuck in with Swampert, but nonetheless, this shift tree had energy ready for two charge attacks and there we go we lost good games there so moving on to our next battle we have a articuno which is a common lead as i see most of the time and it's pretty good for a charizard now sometimes people stay in with articuno or they switch out which they do here so in this case i'm going to let go blast burn before i do my switch and usually what i do is that if they don't shield, I typically switch into a Swampert, but we didn't have that opportunity because they sw surrendered here. So GG's on that point. They probably had an Escavalier in the back, who knows, but they probably had a weakness against fire Pokemon. Charizard as the lead. It does answer to a lot of Pokemon, even though it has its weaknesses. Um, you just gotta be careful sometimes with those Melmetal matchups or even those um, Garatina matchups and even Swampert sometimes so um, but without a doubt Charizard is really really fun to use and I do recommend using him because so far there's a lot of people who use um, counters for Cresselia and as we didn't see here today es Escavalier is one of those Pokemon you do get Caesar sometimes you get those shift trees so yep Charizard is really fun to use even when he had those lineups with Registeel as well too so give it a try if you want Charizard's lead does help a lot of cases, sometimes even as the switch or as the end game. But hey, do whatever you can to get those wins, guys. But without a doubt, continue battling, my friends. Stay safe until next time for another episode of Pokemon Go Battle. See you later.